So let us explore sine law and cosine law. Here is an application problem. It says verify if any angle in a triangle with sides in the ratio of 5 is to 8 is to 9 can be less than 30 degrees. So let us assume that here we have a triangle, right? Let me draw one. So this is our triangle, three different sides. And they are in the ratio of 5, 8, 9. Let's say this is 5 for us. This is 8 and then 9, right? So this is a triangle where the sides are in the ratio of 5 is to 8 is to 9, right? So let me label the triangle as ABC. Now the question is, verify if any angle in a triangle with sides in the ratio of 5 is to 8 is to 9 can be less than 90, 30 degrees. Can be less than 30 degrees. Now, as you can see, 5 is the minimum length, so the angle A will be actually the smallest in this. So if angle A is more than 30, then we can ensure that all are more than 30 degrees. So let's find angle A. Now to find angle A, what should we use? Since we know three sides, right, side, side and side, then we should apply cosine law. So that is the only way to solve this triangle. So cosine law application. Now we know what is cos A. So re rearrange the formula and you can write cos A is equals to 9 square plus 8 square minus 5 square divided by 2 times 9 times 8. Right? So we can find cos A and then from there we can find cos inverse A. So let's write down angle A itself and we'll say cos inverse will be angle A and that is equal to 9 square plus 8 square minus 5 square divided by 2 times 9 times 8, right? Let's use the calculator. Second function cos inverse, two brackets. 9 square plus 8 square minus 5 square one bracket closed divided by bracket open 2 times 9 times 8 bracket closed 2 equals to 33.55 so we get 33.55 as the angle A now that is greater than so this angle we found is greater than 30 degrees right and therefore we can say well every angle in this triangle is greater than 30 degrees right so we have therefore all angles are greater than 30 degrees, right? So it's kind of important to understand that we should find just one angle and which is the minimum angle, the angle opposite to the side which is shortest, right? So that helps to do it faster. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.